The matrix visualization in Power BI is probably one of the more commonly used visualizations. Yet until fairly recently, a very useful tool was not available in it, which is the ability to total values. So this section of the visualization here corresponds with the value section here in the visualization panel. And in this particular visualization, the resource names are made up of rows, okay? This feature here, the rows used to have the ability and still does have the ability to total, yet what always struck me as unusual and odd was the fact that typically what I have seen is that the rows would be used more for text values, whereas the values would tend to be used for numbers. So the ability to add totals would be more important on the value section than it would be in the rows section. Well, luckily now this is available in Power BI, and I'll show you the way that I do this. If you go to the format tab that looks like the little paint roller here, and a quick trick here is just to type the word total, and then you can turn on row subtotals here, which will bring the row totals here. You can also do the same thing for column subtotals if you want the total also to show here on the right so that this entire row, I, I personally think this is a little backwards because this seems like it should be the row subtotal and this should be the column subtotal. But as you can see, when I turn that off, it's vice versa, that this is the row subtotal and this is the column subtotal. But in any event, that's how it's done. If you happen to have an older version of Power BI and you are unable to upgrade that for whatever reason, perhaps your IT has policies about what you can download and what you can't, then you can go to the associated blog article that we have on this topic and it will walk you through a workaround for previous versions of Power BI. Good luck.